What's up VR gamers, I'm Josh13 and these are my thoughts about Battlefield VR. Battlefield is one of my favorite first person shooters. Yes, even the latest addition to the Battlefield franchise, Battlefield 2042. The game had a rough start to say gently, but it improved over time. I just love to play this game with my brother, who may I add is not the biggest fan of VR. But I'm sure if a game like Battlefield would come to VR, he could not resist. The thing I like about Battlefield is an all-round game. You can fly, drive, hover and walk. Not saying it's easy, because the helicopter goes in microseconds. Can you just imagine how great it all will be in VR? Climbing in a tank just like you do in real life, having a joystick you hold in a helicopter and a steering wheel in a jeep, walking around with thumbsticks with a gun in your hand across the battlefield. With the new PlayStation VR 2 headset and the haptics built in, an explosion will be epic every time it happens. Also with the new improved sense controllers, walking around will be a breeze. The 360 movement with tracking will come in handy when the enemies shoot you from behind. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it, are you? I can't wait to jump off a high building, putting my parachute in the nick of time and knifing the enemy from behind, and then finishing off his squad mains with my main weapon. Okay, okay, I let myself go for a minute. I need a lot of practice to make this move happen. But it will be sick though. Now, EA already has a VR game like Medal of Honor and Formula 1 22. The games are only for the PC. They have not yet released a VR game on a PlayStation. What well, is a shame, because there's a market for both games on a PlayStation, I'm sure. Maybe they already know this and have already a game in mind to port or have one in development. Like the terminal said, I'm hoping it will be a better field. If EA would make a VR game, what game would you like it to be? Let me know down in the comments. I just hope if EA ever brings out a VR game, it won't be a half ass game that still needs years of updates. In my opinion, EA is stacking off these last years, giving us unfinished games. By that time, I also hope there will be a gun stuck for the PlayStation VR 2. In previous videos, I already said I hope it will be detachable for your sense controllers on the go. Much like they did with the Quest, but then with tracking built in. For me, the game should take place in a modern time. Why you ask? I hate iron sights. But it seemed better if it takes place in the future, where they can take advantage of the eye tracking. For example, you're not wearing just a helmet. You're also wearing futuristic glasses or a mask. Let's say it looks similar to the helmet of Iron Man that you can see information in. This will help one, with most sickness. Two, it's a cool way to show your ammo count and the minimap. What do you think? Do you think this could work? I just hope the player base is not as dead as it is for making this video. They should not remove the bots in this game. Even if there are just a few real players, I will be still able to play the game. Smaller maps or just a mode will be the best approach instead of a full fledged game. Wait out the sales of the future headset and slowly work your way towards the future of gaming. Like always, these are just my thoughts with hope that it will happen. I do not intend to start a rumor. If you like these kinds of videos, leave a like and subscribe.